Hello, it's Topher, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're going to be doing a craft item. We're gonna be crafting with aloe, and we're going to be making a um, aloe vera gel that you can use both for your hair or for your skin. Um, aloe vera gel um, is great for the hair as far as strengthening the hair, conditioning the hair, um, giving it moisture, um, keeping it, um, helping it from breaking. Um, it's great for the skin, especially for um, pimples, acne, blemishes, things like that. Helps helps the skin to heal. Not to mention small little cuts that helps um, keep those nice and clean from, and keeps them from developing infections. And this is an aloe vera. And this one I had gotten at the store and I had cut for this purpose. And there's a couple things I want to show you about the aloe vera. So aloe vera, the tough green part uh, is, is what we always see. This is the rind. In here is the gel. And this is what we're extracting. And if I run my pointer and you can see that sort of like that thread coming up, that's aloe vera gel. And that's what we're extracting in order to use. Be careful though, um, when you cut into some aloe vera, you'll have a yellow sap up here instead of a clear sap. And that yellow sap is a skin irritant and you don't want, you don't want to put that onto your skin. Um, it can cause you to have, you know, um, develop hives or anything like that on, on those areas because it is that irritant. So make sure you wash your aloe. Some aloes do not have that yellow sap um, but if you're not sure, wash it anyway, um, in order just to make, make sure you're not getting an irritant. The other thing that you have to watch for on aloe is there's these spikes, okay? And some of these are quite sharp, um, especially as you get to the end, if you can see, that one is a real good sharp spine. Um, please be careful when you're, when you're handling that. Um, when you're cutting and you're using your knife, um, this is very important, especially for if you're a younger viewer, please do this with a parent or guardian in order to help you with the knife. Um, it's very easy to cut yourself because the gel is so slippery. All right. Now I'm going to show you the, and walk you through the process as I'm doing it. And we're going to see it in fast forward. So there's nothing wrong with your screen. It's just moving kind of fast. And I'll explain as we go through. So what we're going to be doing here is cutting up our aloe. We want to be very careful of the spines and we also want to be careful of our equipment. So to cut the aloe, um, you will only need a smaller piece. So I cut that in half. You're going to remove the scab first and then the spines. Take your knife and work it underneath one of the, the peels. And as you see here, I'm just removing the gel very slowly by bringing my knife underneath. Wash your aloe, especially if you see the yellow sap. Cut your aloe up into smaller pieces so it fits into your blender or to your food processor. Here I'm adding the vitamin E gels. You want to use four to five gels. It's, if you use a little bit too much, that is fine. It's okay to use a little bit more than to not enough. Using the fork, I scooped up and I was seeing if there was any residual pieces. Then I added my scent. Uh, and you want to put in about, you know, 10 to 15 drops. Once that's all mixed, place it in your bottle and it's all ready to use. It's really that simple. So this is our finished product. 
um, and I have placed it in a bottle in order to use. Um, and I can use, I like these bottles because not only do they have the um, cork stopper, but I could pour right from the bottle in order for me to use either on my hair or on my skin. And I get a, a pretty good amount. Um, you could also use an eyedropper in order to extract and, and what you need. Um, but pouring it is just as, just as easy. Um, these make wonderful gifts. If you're making it for someone, a get well gift or um, just, you know, a pamper yourself gift or pamper yourself with this gift. <laughs> uh, it is important that um, <clears throat> this gets used before it turns off. And even with the vitamin E that is added to it, um, this will last only about a week or two. Um, three weeks is pushing it. Anything a little longer than that, it will not be any good. Um, you'll notice as it's starting to turn, it will change color. Um, last time I did this for myself, it turned to pretty pink and then started getting more purpley and then brown. And then uh, once it gets to that brown stage, this it is no longer good. It, you do need to um, get rid of it. And well, I hope you enjoyed this video and you made some great stuff for yourself or for a loved one. And like, if you, if you enjoyed this, like this video, um, remember to subscribe and make sure you press that bell icon. That'll notify you when I have new content out so you can see what's coming up next, um, whether it's drawing or some more crafts or some artwork that I'm doing. Well, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Bye now.